Hi hi hello. Hello hello hi. I'm Nur Amina Farhan bin Tazman. And I'm Muhammad Hadi bin Muhammad Al Faudi. We are going to do a presentation that covers on the simplest invertebrate. Talking about simple invertebrate, I think that I heard sponge is one of the most simple invertebrate ever found. But I wonder how. The sponge is a member phylum of Polyphera. It is simple animal, many cells, but no mouth, no muscle, no hairs, and no brain. It is sesar, which is it cannot move like other animals do from a place to a place, but it's like plants that can grow only on one spot. The basic body plant is, is like jelly-like layer sandwich between two thin layer cells. Their bodies are full of pores and channels allowing water, allowing water to circulate through them. The most uh, them feed on bacteria and microorganisms. But I'm not going to stop there. Freestyle. Sponge breathe by taking by taking oxygen from the water that they filter through the pores and canal in their bodies. As water comes into the sponge through the ostium, the cyanocyte will trap the bacteria and other zooplankton with its collar. This food will slide down, uh, will slide down the collar of the charge. Okay, first the food will reach the membrane. Then the cell will take the food by cyan by phagocytosis, and then it will transfer the food by cyanocyte through the diffusion and last the amoeba will intend to distribute it to other cells through along the mass of it. Oh Assalamualaikum Vanakam and Tanchao everyone. Today I'm going to show you all how the sponge reproduce. Sponge reproduce both asexually and sexually. They also possess the power to regenerate. Do you wish it is almost impossible for us to kill the sponge? Their sexual reproduction is similar to higher animals, even though their body organization is the primitive type. It still holds the same concept as what we have learned before. The reproduction requires sperm and ova for it to function whole fully. Although most sponge are hermaphrodite, cross fertilization is still the golden rule because the egg and the sperm are produced at different times. The difference in anatomical features of stenophores to those cnidarians such as hydras is that stenophores exhibit radial symmetry meanwhile cnidarians exhibit biradial symmetry other than that as you can see here stenophores have complete digestive system meanwhile cnidarian does not have they have a single opening served as both mouth and anus other than that, stenophores and cnidarians have tentacles that work as a figure for them to catch their food. The cnidarians can be either sessile or mobile, but stenophores are always mobile. As the example for living species in cnidarians, it is hydra and jellyfish. Meanwhile, stenophores, the living specimen for them is comb jellies.